Rochelle, you come and tell us. How many grateful for communion here every Sunday? Come on, we understand. Pastor prays every Sunday, even already this morning, about divine protection. A couple of weeks ago, you preached on divine protection about angelic dispatchment that will keep us and guard us in all our ways. Now, Rochelle is a student here and had a very bad accident traveling down south. Hallelujah, praise God. It's so good to be here and share this story of what Jesus has done in my life. I first want to thank um, Pastor Ronnie and Adonica for blessing me with the scholarship to be here. And um, just sitting under this ministry has changed my life eternally, so I'm so thankful for that. Um, <laughs> so um, this all draws back to last, well, the Sunday that Pastor Ronnie had preached about divine protection and um, angels always being around us. And um, growing up, I've always heard that message, like, angels are around you. But something hit me different in my spirit when Pastor Ronnie was preaching this message. And um, it came very real to me. And I told the Lord, Lord, angels are really all around me all the time. So um, the next Friday, after that Sunday, I had actually gotten in an accident on my way back home to Spring Hill. Because for the first two weeks of school, I had been driving a whole hour to and from school um, every single day. And that Friday, it was raining a little bit. I was going back home perfectly fine, in the joy, actually. So um, I was standing on the word of the Lord that if you are going to send me to this school and I have to drive this long, which was a stretch for me, I said, Lord, you're going to have to give me strength. And what does the word say? The joy of the Lord is my strength. So I would wake up at 5 o'clock every single morning, Lord, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be in the joy and I'm ready to go to school. And um, that was the Lord's strength for me to keep going. And that Friday I had gotten in an accident, um, completely blacked out, which was, that has never happened to me before. The car completely lost control. And um, I woke, I had opened my eyes and I saw the car. The only thing that I saw was my car fully forced impact to an electric, electric pole and the car started spinning a thousand feet and the car was sliding against wooden um, gates on the side of the road and the car had completely flipped. So that's when I woke up that second with the car flipped sideways and the most strangest but supernatural thing, and I wanna go back to that Sunday because I had taken communion. <laughs> I'm here to testify that the blood works. The blood of Jesus works and it protects. So I had an overwhelming peace in that moment. And I was conscious enough to open the sunroof of my car, but it was kind of hard to get out in the position I was in. And this man who had witnessed the um, accident happening had came to the car and helped drag me, um, bring me out of the car. But it was so strange because it was, the spirit of the Lord on this man that made me feel like I was in the Father's arms. <laughs> and he was taking me out. And he had told me when I got out the car. <laughs> he said, young lady, the hand of God is on your life. There was angels around you. And he came and gave me a hug like that. I didn't know this man, but I felt like the father's arms were wrapping around me. And he whispered in my ear, it's going to be okay. <laughs> so I'm standing outside the car, and I am laughing in the joy. And I said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. This is a testimony that the blood of Jesus works. The blood of Jesus works. And if you're here today doubting God, if you're here today and you're supposed to die or whatever's happening, you're still on this earth, Jesus has purpose for you. And the blood works. It's not over yet. Hallelujah. Yeah. So actually, um, during that whole a thousand feet slide, the police officers had actually told me, if it wasn't for that car actually flipping, you would have ended up in a ditch full of water and you would have drowned in the car. Jesus. Now, I went to the hospital because they wanted to check me. I walked out perfectly fine. Hallelujah. <laughs> walked out perfectly fine. <laughs> and the doctors, all they could say, you're lucky you made it out of life. I said, luck is not a thing. That was the power of God that protected me. <laughs>
kidding me? <laughs> Woo. And I tell you, when the enemy tries to take you out, you gotta stand on the word. And see, some of you don't understand, before this accident even happened, my parents were doubting me come, even coming to the school, telling me it's not worth it, the drive's not worth it. And I continued to say, God has sent me there. He has told me I need to be there. And I was standing on Isaiah 41.10, and it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. And that is the word that I was standing on. The it's the blood of Jesus and the word that you need to be standing on. It carries you through. Hallelujah. Amen. Powerful. And, and the man, was he just driving by this? You didn't know where he went. How do you know it wasn't the angel? Oh. That's awesome.